I just love it there. Siobhan, I want to ask, uh, I know it's been uh, quite the traumatic morning for you. It's been only an hour and 15 minutes or so since you first pulled off to school and then uh, had to leave so quickly. Uh, but in that time, uh, have you been able to talk to a number of other students about what may have happened? And, and you did mention the, the shooting possibly outside of... Uh... Well, hey, hey, we have got a lot of excitement and things happening here in Southern Maryland this morning. It is a Tuesday morning, March 20th. It is currently raining, but we have got a snowstorm on the way tonight into tomorrow. I just saw a forecast online on IntelliCast. They are saying 8 to 12 inches for our area. We're supposed to get rain all day. I just looked at the gauge. We've had about three quarters of an inch so far. Uh, and it's supposed to rain most of the day. And then sometime, I think after six o'clock tonight, it's supposed to start changing over to uh, snow. And then snow tomorrow ending, I think by four o'clock. Uh, so I have got to, I guess, put the plow and the salt spreader on this truck. I've got the John Deere. I've got to put the plow on as well. So I'll be playing in the rain today. Hey, but that's not the only excitement. Uh, you are probably hearing it on the national news now. There was a shooting this morning at my daughter's high school, the Great Mills High School in Great Mills, Maryland. She is okay. So apparently, from the early reports that I've heard, uh, some kid came to school with a gun and shot his girlfriend and then shot himself. This all happened in the art hallway. Uh, one person apparently is dead, but I'm not sure who that person is. Uh, um, so that has taken over our national news uh, or our local news this morning. I'm sure it will be national in a bit. Uh, we are about an hour and a half from D.C., so it was on our D.C. news stations this morning. Uh, they were sending crews down to the area to start uh, taking footage, but uh, as I said, the kids that I know that go there, they were not involved. They're okay. The school is on lockdown. I think they're trying to figure out now what to do, uh, where to move the kids, how to get the parents in there, all of that good stuff. Um, so there, there was a call out this morning from the school system um, to the parents to let us know what was uh, going on. So, you know, this this is uh, getting close to home, but this is this was not a mass shooting. This was somebody on a mission, is what it sounds like. Uh, so we'll we'll see how all of this uh, plays out, but. Uh, this, this, between the weather and now the, the shooting, just a lot going on here this morning in Southern Maryland. And on top of that, I've got to hire people at the hardware store. I've got an interview to do this afternoon. I do not like doing interviews. Hiring and firing, that is not my favorite part of the job, but it's, uh, what I have to do. So we, uh, have a full day ahead of us. Uh, I first need to go get a cup of coffee here the cup is empty so let me go get a cup and uh, get this party going okay this is the intersection here for um, Great Mills Road and Chancellor's Run Road they have blocked it off where I cannot uh, make a turn onto Great Mills Road and go past the high school or I can't even make a turn to go the other way uh, into uh, towards Pax River uh, you can see all the school buses lined up there and uh, I guess they are taking the kids out now according to my uh, daughter uh, so they have everything completely blocked off I it looks like um, to the right Great Mill School is only about a 500 to a thousand feet to the right of where you see those buses there uh, so they have all of that blocked off
Holy crap, it has rained a lot this morning. My guess is that we have had over an inch of rain so far today. Uh, so the forecast, I just looked at the latest forecast from IntelliCast, uh, five to eight inches of snow for our area starting tonight going into tomorrow, Wednesday. A uh, quick update on the uh, school shooting incident here in our county. Uh, so for those that do not know, uh, I did graduate from Great Mills High School in 1986. I was the valedictorian, believe it or not, uh, the valedictorian of my graduating class in 1986. 32 years later, wow, is that right? Yes, 32 years ago. 32 years later, my daughter will be graduating uh, this year from Great Mills High School. So yes, she was at school this morning when this shooting took place. I have not uh, talked to her yet. We've been going back a little bit uh, with text messaging. Uh, she's fine, by the way. Uh, so according to the latest news that I have seen and heard, uh, one person is dead, that is the shooter, two people are injured. So yeah, it sounds like this was an isolated incident. Somebody went in with a problem with a girlfriend, friend, whatever, and took a gun and shot the person. So um, my thoughts and prayers to the families of all involved. Uh, so my daughter is on her way home. They have bussed all of the kids uh, from Great Mills High School to another high school in our county, and then my wife is on her way to uh, pick my daughter up. Uh, my daughter does drive, has her own car. She drove to school this morning, so I'm not sure what the situation is going to be there with that and when she will be able to go back and get her car and, and her belongings and all of that other stuff. So that is big news. You don't, uh, you, you don't wanna make national news uh, with news like we are having. In fact, it is worldwide news. My best friend from Finland is in uh, Qatar this week. Uh, he sent a message to me about an hour ago. Uh, he'd already heard the news over there. In fact, uh, he went to Great Mills with me and graduated, so he knows the school well. Uh, so that is the update on the school shooting. Um, I imagine classes uh, will be canceled tomorrow, although with this snow coming in, classes were going to be canceled anyway. Uh, spring, or rather Easter break, starts uh, this Friday. I think they have a half day of school on Friday, and then they're out all next week for uh, Easter break. Uh, would not surprise me if they closed this school the rest of the week. Um, that, that would not surprise me if, if they do that. Um, okay, so back to the snowstorm here. So I've got the John Deere in here. I have got to put, mount this frame back onto the tractor. We do not, or luckily we have not taken the other frame off of here yet. Thank goodness I was going to do that last week. I thought we were done with snow, but I guess not. So I'm gonna get this frame on here. It's, it's real simple. It slides up underneath the tractor. This hooks into the frame under the tractor. Two bolts, two pins here. Uh, hook into the front of the tractor and a hydraulic connection. And then I will go down and put the plow on here. It's then um, it's putting the plow and the spreader on the pickup truck now. I do have both the plow and the spreader for the truck in the barn so I won't get wet doing that and that should not be too bad so uh, even though I make money plowing snow um, it's just too damn late in the season for this I thought we were done with it I saw a forecast last night for more snow uh, possibly Sunday so we'll see I think it's about 38 degrees here currently so all right uh, stay tuned for more
as you can see, we've got plenty of water here. Uh, that is a field that has lots of water. Okay, just a quick update here on the uh, shooting this morning at Great Mills High School while I am uh, waiting for the tractor to fuel up here. Uh, my daughter sent a text message to me and my wife uh, sometime between 10 o'clock and 10.30. Uh, they were being bussed at the time up to the uh, Leonardtown High School and parents were to go there and pick their kids up. Uh, so my wife said she would leave work to go pick my daughter up. My wife just sent a text message to me uh, about 12.30, quarter to one, that said, uh, I have not picked up Angela yet. She cannot make it to work. She's scheduled to work at the hardware store this afternoon and close. Uh, and I said, what's the holdup? And she said, 1,600 plus parents. So. I'm sure it's really a cluster, you know what, uh, up there at the high school with all of these parents uh, trying to get their kids. Um, I don't know. So I'll keep you updated here. Uh, this is just crazy. You never think it'll happen in, in your own hometown, but it has. And uh, now we just have to deal with it and um, work through it. Uh, so. We'll see how that goes. I, I just, I'm glad my wife went up to do the picking up because I would not be able to handle waiting in line for something that I'm sure is a chaos uh, up there. Um, I take a more calm approach uh, to all of this and um, a more measured approach, uh, a realistic view of what is happening. So, uh, all right, this tractor is just about finished fueling up. Uh, we're going to go hook up the snow plow. All right, there is the snow plow I have to get to. Uh, and you already see the water in the tracks here. Hell, the damn thing has fallen off of the blocks. This is this is going to be a problem, I think, by myself getting this hooked up. But let's give it a shot here. Okay, let's try this again. I backed the tractor up, lifted the uh, plow up with the three-point hitch, put a block under it, and uh, that should do the job. Ooh. Okay, I've got the first pin in. I uh, just got to get the second pin in now. that but that's simple chain is hooked up uh, oh shoot I don't have my boots on now I gotta hook up the uh, hydraulic hose oh shit we've got everything hooked up here so the plow should raise up now oh I've got to readjust the uh, hydraulic flow, speed it up. I had it adjusted for, oh, the sprayer yesterday. Let me readjust this. Turn that up to rabbit a little bit. Oh yeah, much better. Maybe just a hair too fast. Uh, 
turn it back just a little bit. There we go, much better. That is the plow on the John Deere. Uh, let me go up to the hardware store now and do an interview, and then I'll come back and uh, put everything on the pickup truck. Okay, just a quick update for you here. Uh, it is Tuesday afternoon. I have gotten a call from the County Highway Department. Uh, they want us to have our pickup trucks uh, ready by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, so we are being put on notice for this snowstorm here. Uh, so I'm about to uh, put the salt spreader here on the pickup truck and then I will uh, get the plow on it as well. And uh, the last update here, probably, uh, concerning the shooting this morning at Great Mills High School where my daughter attends school. So it is almost uh, four o'clock here. Uh, my daughter just got to work uh, about a half an hour ago. Uh, my uh, wife picked her up. Oh man, what a mess uh, going on up there. I've got another teenager that uh, helps me at the hardware store after school. Uh, he has shown up to work as well, so I've gotten the stories from them. So apparently this, uh, this kid uh, went in this morning uh, just before school started. Uh, had a handgun. Some reports are people saw him walking down the hall with the gun. And um, I guess he shot his girlfriend uh, or an acquaintance or somebody he knew and then turned the gun on himself. It is still unclear on how he has died whether it was his gunshot or the resource officer at the school who shot him. Uh, that will come out later, I guess. My daughter did have a class, uh, one class with the shooter, so she knew of him. Um, and uh, one of the other injured people, uh, we have a knowledge of the family as well. So. Thoughts and prayers with all of those involved. Um, just, uh, just a sad day. Uh, but anyway, this is the world we live in now. Um, I, I'm, I'm not one that's blaming it on guns. Uh, I, I've never been that way. I do support uh, our Second Amendment rights. Uh, it's, it's the person operating the gun. It's, it's not the gun itself. Let's. Uh, get this salt spreader on and get the plow on the truck and get geared up for this snowstorm that is coming forecast still all over the place the temperature is dropping I just looked in my truck before I uh, got out it was 34 degrees uh, so the temperature is dropping uh, we are now under a winter storm warning uh, for our area um, I guess anywhere from Three to 12 inches just depends on which forecast you look at so uh, we'll see how this goes so uh, stay tuned for more I'll try to get some footage of the snow tomorrow and what we're doing Wow so much going on today uh, so as you can see behind me I have got the plow and the spreader on the truck we are ready to go uh, I was just checking my website I've got a weather station uh, at my house and it is online. Um, so it is down to 35 degrees right now. We have had 1.82 inches of rain today. So snow coming in, um, I think the forecast now is for after midnight. Um, snow coming in. Reports are still all over the place. Uh, just had uh, one of my guys who plow snow with me, uh, sent a text that his forecast is showing 8 to 12 inches of snow tomorrow for our area. I've seen other forecasts, 3 to 5. It'll be what it will be. We'll be ready for it and do what we've got to do. And of course, the other big news is the uh, school, the shooting at our local high school today. Uh, so when I open up my Fox News app, that is the first story uh, on the app. Gunman, 17 dead. Gunman, who is 17 years old, dead after shots fired in Maryland. School resource officer 
confronted the shooter. Uh, so at this time, and, and I'm not giving you uh, information that is just hearsay. It, this is also in the article, but it was also relayed to me by some kids at school. They're not sure if the gunman was killed by the police officer that is at the school or by the gunman's gunshots. Um, that is still being investigated. This apparently happened just before school started this morning. Uh, the bell, the first bell rings at eight o'clock, I think. So just a couple of minutes before that, my daughter and the other guy I've got working for me at the hardware store that goes to school there, I don't believe either one of them heard gunshots, uh, but of course they knew people uh, that heard gunshots. They knew people that saw the kid walking down the hall with the gun. That's the story they're telling anyway. Um, you just, you just, Never know, but the, apparently this kid in kid went in with a mission after one person. Uh, the second person that is injured, they're not sure according to this site if uh, this kid also shot the second person or if the bullet from the police officer at school uh, struck this person in the leg. I just want to give you a little bit of perspective about what this high school is all about and where it is we're located. The high school itself is about three miles from Patuxent River Naval Air Station. Patuxent River Naval Air Station um, employs over 20,000 people in this county. The, the county, St. Mary's County, has a population, uh, I think uh, about 100 to 120,000 people total. But Tuxent River Naval Air Station is our biggest employer. So Great Mills High School itself has almost 2,000 students, I believe. When I went there back in the 80s, it was about 1,000 students. We have three high schools total in this county. Great Mills High School is the furthest one south in the county. Uh, so it serves a very diverse group of people, of students. Uh, from your, not as many farmers these days, but from your rural kids who grew up on the farm, on the water, hunters, fishermen, to your uh, poor kids um, below the poverty line, living in families below the poverty line, to kids whose who, who's both parents work at Pax River Naval Air Station, each one making 100,000 plus per year. So just a wide spectrum of people kids that go to this school. We are only uh, 60 miles south of Washington, D.C. It takes us about 90 minutes to get into Washington, D.C. We're a bedroom community in some respects as well because we do have a lot of commuters live in the county but drive to Washington, D.C. every day uh, for the jobs up there, a lot of government jobs, uh, of course. That's, uh, that gives you a little bit of perspective. I think on some of the news outlets, they're talking about uh, this being a rural county, a rural school. No, that's, uh, you could have said that 30 years ago. No, that's really not the case now. It, it really isn't that rural. You've got to um, get down into my area where there's more farmland and it's a little bit more rural. We are about 20 to 25 minutes, 20 minutes on a good day from our house to school. So I guess my daughter had gotten into class uh, or into school just before this happened. Uh, there, I have seen some reports of kids that, that uh, got to school about two minutes to eight and the school had already been shut down and they couldn't, couldn't come into school, they were turned away. Um, the, one of the kids that uh, works for me at the hardware store, he gave me a story of um, how his classroom they, their kids got together and once they got the announcement over the PA to get in their classrooms and lock the doors, they shoved some filing cabinets in front of the doors because they just didn't know what was going on at the time. I think they knew there was a shooter there. So, you know, some of these kids knew how to react, how to try to protect themselves in the situation that they were given. Uh, so I'll talk to my daughter a little bit more tonight, try to figure out how she feels about uh, all of this, but um, 
it's it's not the guns that cause the problem it's the, the people behind the guns that cause the problem apparently this kid had some emotional issues he was working through i i would assume um you just don't go out and do this kind of thing but um it does make you reflect uh my best friend who lives in finland he got the news probably two hours after this happened his his local newspaper there in finland had this headline on their uh website the front page of their website um at first he said he just kind of glanced through it and then as he read the story and saw Great Mills High School he, he he was quite shocked since he went to that school with me as an exchange student um, just you, you don't think those things are going to happen at your school but they do that's that's uh, the world we live in now and that is um, the life we have to have to put up with I guess so uh, just my thoughts on it um, I'm a I'm a bit of a realist um, shit happens sometimes um, and there's not much you can do about it to to stop it sometimes uh, but that's just my opinion here um, so as I said just a lot going on here today uh, that is uh, about it. I'm going to wrap it up on this video. Hopefully I get this edited and posted in a timely manner, but bring on the snow. There's not much we can uh, do to prevent that either. That's life. All right.